Okay, here is the Panasonic Dream Station. Uh, mine has been recalled because of a cancerous fiber inside of here. What I intend to do is disassemble this, clean that out, and reassemble it and use it as an air filter for when I'm sharpening my chainsaw blades and carbide. Because carbide is very toxic when you sharpen it. So, first things first, I'm gonna take everything out that I can. And I'm gonna start with these two four screws and I'll bring you back and see how far I got you, okay? Okay, these four screws on the bottom have nothing to do with this at all. You push that little button right there and it comes undone from the main machine. Then you will take out the screw right here, the screw right there, which this sits just like this. After you do undo that screw, Take the screwdriver right here and right there and push those tabs in and it comes off. Right here is the foam that they were talking about. Mine actually looks good. Uh, they said some of them were disintegrating. Mine actually looks good. Uh, another thing to add, I am not a trained professional. I am just doing this because I want to see. So, I'm gonna take these screws off, get this computer board out of my way to get down to this phone now okay I'll bring you back okay when you disassemble the top you're gonna have to unplug this one and this one and then you will have the unit sitting here like this then you got to take these wires loose and then back here in the back right here and right here it connects with an o-ring to go out to the main machine. Okay, so now we got it broke down to the filter housing. From what I've read and everything, this little line right here, I'll take a razor blade or a Zacto knife and cut all the way around it to get inside this sucker. So, that's the next step. What they were talking about, oh, by the way, I'm using a T10 for pretty much everything on this. This foam right here is actually breaking down and getting blown into the patient. So we're gonna take this foam out and then restore it so I can use it as an air filter for when I'm sharpening carbide blades. Okay, all right, let's cut into it. Okay, change of plans. Um, I actually cut into it with this. Um, I took my torch over there, heated this up, and cut that out, and that out. Got the foam out, and you can see it's out. And as you can see on my fingers, this stuff is really broken down is tacky it's gross it's nasty the good thing is this is a water tunnel it can handle moisture so I'm gonna get in there now clean all this up and then I'll bring you back okay we have an update this motor actually sits right in there like this and when you're cleaning it, take the motor out. Cause I learned the hard way. So this motor sits. What do you think here? He's smarter than the machine. So up oh, here it is. Sits like this. And all you do is take a little screwdriver underneath there and pop it. Undoes that O seal right there. And what I'm doing now, I got the little hot glue gun. Yes, it's pink. 
and I'm going to hot glue all this and then I'm going to cut it flat and then pressure test it basically blow air into it make sure that no air is leaking around where we took the foam out that foam was nasty so I'm waiting on the hot glue gun to warm back up and then I'll bring it back alrighty in case I didn't do a good video of taking it apart I figured I'd do the video putting it back together okay so we got this this little valve goes on that notch right there pops right in and this is a t10 bring our base back this wire needs to go underneath and in this corner a little pipe looking thing is what holds it Then we're going to connect this back on. We're back in her groove. She's sitting pretty with all of our wires sticking back out. Okay. T10. Screw it back down in place. These are longer screws too on this whole entire bottom side. Now on the opposite side of your port, you got two screws. You do not want to put the screws back in there. This little rubber grommet goes back in this spot. Our control panel. And we gotta plug everything back in. panel situated, your outlet port in the back situated, everything situated down. Now we screw the plate down. two screws right here and right here you do not put a screw in them because they actually um, get held down by this thing your control pad Got 
everything done right. We'll lay this back on. Make sure everything lines back up. Snaps together. And grab the wrong screwdriver. these back into place. Be careful. We'll use my screwdriver. Okay, there we go. It's six minutes to reassemble it. We'll stick this card back in. Stick the memory chip back in. I don't know if you need this or not, but whatever. This is what I want. I want the filter there. So now we got that back together. This thing just snaps into place. Power cord out. Plug it in. Hit the power. There you go. Works perfect. There we go. Working perfect. You can hear the air coming in and out. So, in reinstating this, I am not a professional at all. Do this at your own risk. Um, it was easy to do. Um, the reason I'm going to do it, used it is because I want clean filtered air when I'm sharpening my chainsaw blades, when I'm sharpening carbide stuff, because that stuff's very bad for you. So, I'll use this as a fancy air filter. So now that I got all the toxic chemicals out of this machine, that's what I'm using it for. I hope this helps somebody. Enjoy your day. Oh yeah, please subscribe. Follow us on White Creek Acres. Never know what I'm going to be doing because it's a little bit of farming, a little bit of planting stuff, a little bit of fixing stuff, a little bit of buying stuff on Amazon and telling you about it. So you never know. So see you in the next one. Have a great evening. Bye-bye.